for this problem, what we're going to be doing is again applying our inverse operations. Inverse operations, which is going to be our opposite operation of what's happening to our variable. All right, what we want to do is we want to isolate the variable, get the variable by itself. So therefore, we need to undo what's happening to the variable. So here we have x divided by 7 minus 0.5 equals 2.5. So what I need to do is determine what is happening to my variable. Well, my variable is being divided by 7 and it's being subtracted by 0.5. So the first thing we always do when we're applying our inverse operation is we always undo addition and subtraction to our variable. So I know I'm subtracting by 0.5, so I need to add 0.5 to both sides, which we call our addition property of equality. Right? Whatever you do on one side, you have to go and do on the next. And then negative 0.5 plus 0.5 is going to be 0. 0 plus x divided by 7 is x divided by 7. 2.5 plus 0.5 equals 3. Now I need to look at my variable x and say, what is happening to my x? My x is being divided by 7. So therefore, to undo division of a 7, you have to do? Multiplication. Multiplication. Thank you very much. So I multiply my 7 on both sides. Well, if my x is being multiplied by 7 and divided by 7, I'm just going to have what left over? x. So we say the 7's divide to 1. 1 times x is just x. 3 times 7 equals 21. OK? Good? Questions? Good? All right. Yes? Good questions on page 22. All right. Please, ladies.